There's a story that I like to tell that really captures the spirit of what we're doing here. It's about a man who's reading a newspaper when his daughter comes over to play. Well, he wants to buy some time and keep reading, so he takes out a section of the paper that has a picture of the earth on it. And he takes that and tears it up into lots of little pieces and then gives it to her to put together. Well, she comes back just a few minutes later and the entire thing is put together and he's shocked. He says, how did you do it so fast? And she says, well, on the other side of the picture of the earth, there's a picture of a person. And when the person came together, the world came together. I had the vision of the Earth seen from space as a huge puzzle, with every single piece representing a different individual. There were pieces made by presidents, prisoners, Nobel Prize laureates, people living with AIDS, and every single piece was the same size and equally integral to the whole. The big picture puzzle is designed to reveal the depth of our inner connection. So what we're going to be doing is each of you are going to get a piece of this puzzle. I've brought the Big Picture Puzzle program to communities of all kinds, from prison groups to corporations to healing circles. Each person receives a piece of the puzzle to decorate in ways that express their unique contributions and gifts. And to answer the question, what is it that I bring that nobody else can in, in quite the same way? Through hands-on exercises, as well as conversation and dialogue, the program really helps people to take their lives, their destinies, talents and gifts seriously and live them out directly into the community instead of through a leader. Their self-expression and the expression of everybody around them is not a luxury. It's actually needed for the survival and health of whole group. The dots on the outside represent um, infinity, <coughs> so therefore in the indigenous cultures can live on forever and ever. Um, it shows a woman. Para mí, realmente la mariposa es un. Finally, I found my roots in the roots of being Hawaiian and knowing your culture. The process showed people that they really had stories worth telling and stories worth listening to. I love being here and with people that have worked really hard and that have really felt this feeling of, um, of having no place in this world and that I get to stick my gay family right there. When we tell our stories and listen deeply to the stories around us, we're creating community by embracing the diversity inside of us, as well as the diversity in our groups, and then expanding that to include the entire world of difference around us. My name is Gifty and I'm from Ghana. I am from Armenia, this is my picture. I'm Satish Kumar from uh, India. My name is Marianne and I'm from Brazil. People will just start to discover um, profound aspects of, of what it means to be in community, of what it means to be alive on the planet at this time. I think that maybe one aim of being here is to try that our people don't disappear from this globe. In the middle we have the red chakra, the red Indian wheel who remembers our origin and in the same time our nomadism and our way to the future. I was journalist when this war began and uh, as a journalist I find a lot uh, of uh, cases and stories about uh, human rights abusing. 
but the five countries that they're colored in represent the five colors of the Olympics flag, and it's bringing of the five continents together in unity. We're one race. We're not four different races. We are one people. We're not different nationalities. We're one. We have to interact in order to make this world go round. Without that interaction, without that understanding, there won't be a future. Talk about the earth, everybody's talking about controversy, who was here first? But it's me, the SOLG, coming straight at you from YDC with my nigga Sneaky. Cause I'm talking about feelings and everything that goes about that. Cause my style is fat, and you know that I'm all that. Cause I'm looking at different pieces of the puzzle. So yeah, you need to solve it before it all crumbles. Say it, say it, say it. In the top of my drawing, I got the comedy and tragedy. At times you can be happy, at other times you can be sad. Off to the left of my good times, I got EMP. That's my neighborhood, the Imperial Ganga Loca. Off to the sad times, I got the Sutrese. See, the Sutrese is the sad times, because a lot of sadness down in Southern California. In the center of my drawing, I got the jail bars. That's pretty much a shot to all my homeboys that are doing time. In the very middle of my drawing, there's a keyhole. That keyhole is to unlock all the hearts of my homeboys. Because, like, we're there for each other and nobody else is. The piece I chose is Ireland, and the feather sort of represents my Native American side, because I'm both Irish and Native American. I wrote, this is my piece of my mother, the earth the one who cares for me every day. Without our mother, there would be nothing to eat. Without our mother, there'd be nowhere to live. This is my piece. It's just something from my heart, I guess. What breaks your heart? What keeps you awake? I? I tried to put down on the little story behind the picture, the puzzles, just some thoughts that were in my mind. And what I wrote is war in the world, a war, a world that holds so much beauty. How can it be filled with so much shame and pain? We must all remember that every bullet fired from a weapon is aimed at the heart of someone's mother. I guess my biggest thing is I don't want to see someone else get caught up in what we got caught up in because we're still paying the price. Although we don't bear the scars outwardly, we certainly bear them inwardly. And it has destroyed uh, a lot of us. I chose this piece uh, because of the cloud formation reminded me of uh, all the Vietnamese and all my brothers and sisters that lost their life in Vietnam. I mean, that was my first thought of all those clouds. I saw them as floating spirits. I'm working on my puzzle piece, and his heart has an arrow through because I really miss my dad, who died of AIDS. And he's the picture inside the heart where I can still see him from. It's more than just being kind to another, one another, although that's a crucial part of it. We have to stop raping our planet and its resources. We have to learn how to live sustainably. I think that's what I intend to portray by this tile. So on one extreme will be the, the atoms from which we're composed, and on the other extreme will be something indicating the um, gigantic size and scope of the universe and that we're in, somewhere in between in a very special little niche and we better take care of it. I think every human being does have a conscience, a heart, and that it's a part of human nature to look around and see and feel. And living where I do in a third world country and then also having to migrate from the UK and then going into a third world country, you see a big change and you you compare and you ask why, and then you ask 
what you can do. And you know that there's always something you can do. You, it's not asking for the impossible. You're looking for the possible. The pink is a soft color and it represents love and care, which is what basically makes the world turn around. Each of us, we're born with a purpose in life, maybe, and God gives you gifts according to the purpose he has planned for you in life. And maybe my gift is to help other people. So he gave me lots of feeling and the confidence to maybe talk, because there are people who, who want to make a difference, but they're so shy, you know, they're scared, they can't go and talk like, oh my God, you know. And God gave me that gift, and I want to use it. I discovered the piece, my piece in the puzzle a long time ago was that we're, we're only what we perceive ourselves to be. And I perceive myself to be a grain of sand. I feel in the same time the real dimension of what we are as human beings. It means one grain of sand amongst the, the, the million of grains of sand and in the same time as big as the sky above our, uh, our heads. We are the whole universe. We are every star in the sky. We're everything that you can see. We become a part of it. Here we are sort of making our own fortune, but we'll, we, none of us will know what its image is until we put all the pieces back together. And once the puzzle's together, they see themselves. They see this portrait of themselves as a community, but also their place, their unique, essential place in the whole, without which there would be a whole. As I look at the circle, I, I, I'm overwhelmed with the colors and the diversity of all the pieces, and mine blends in perfectly. I'm a piece of the puzzle. <laughs> when the puzzle's assembled, it's really an opportunity for a celebration. We all fly like eagles, flying so high, circling the universe on wings of your life. <laughs> I mean, you! There's a special project called the Global Community Puzzle, which is the most full expression of the original vision. It's 22 feet in diameter, it has 1,250 pieces, and it was created by hand by 1,250 children from all over the world. They actually mounted each of the puzzle pieces. The most profound part of it was when the students would say, well, what happens if I mess up my piece or what happens if I um, if I lose my piece and said well that's going to be your part of the world's going to be missing and you could see him think about it for a second and then when they went to work on it were much more careful than I think they would have if it was you know here's a piece of paper put it together on the back of it you're going to be writing what your hopes and dreams for the world are <laughs> Do you spell Pace, P-E-A-C-E? -E? Yes, mm -hmm. that's great. Your wishes, my dears, are the most powerful in the world. We all live under the same sky, stars and sun, oh, no. so why are we fighting and stealing? Why can't we live a life in peace? Okay, I think that we should stop all animal testing because it is crude and mean. Why not use humans? Even though they are smaller and do not have as much control, it's not nice. And um, I hope that companies would not use CFCs and aerosol cans because it will break up the ozone layer and that will cause the greenhouse effect. My wish is to have no animals be harmed and no animals be tested on toothpaste or something else. I think we should have peace and no war and don't cut down trees. And on April 22nd, which is Earth Day, 
people are going to be putting this huge puzzle of the earth together. And you know what? They'll look at what you have to say. And they'll see that real people have real wishes for this earth. Thea Kennedy, age 16, from Fairfax. I wish that every child in the world could go to sleep with a full stomach. That's touching. Oh, my. The pieces came together for the first time on Earth Day, when thousands of people joined uh, the children and um, community members from the Bay Area to assemble the puzzle. And it took four hours. <laughs> it was a huge community project. We're going to take a piece. All right. And find the number. <laughs> After Earth Day, um, these same pieces are being redistributed to people from the full spectrum of diversity. We specifically invite people to participate who represent groups that are polarized to make it more poignantly clear just how interconnected we are. <laughs> No matter what our positions are, no matter what roles we play, and no matter what part of the world we're from. I'm Bernard Goffin. Uh, I was born in Poland. My brothers uh, were taken away. I didn't know where to. And my father and I were sent to Auschwitz. What was healing uh, for me was that uh, the number of people, the sheer number of people that came and heard my story because uh, for me I made a bargain with uh, the man or the woman upstairs that if I survive I will witness. I have numerous uh, friends who are children of Nazis. You know, they're in recovery. They are, you know, looking at their past and how they got caught up in that. And they're willing to say something about it. And that's healing. I'm the great grandson of Richard Wagner. And now comes the difficult part. Uh, who was the cultural uh, model for Adolf Hitler? My grandmother, Winifred Wagner, who was so close to Hitler that he even wanted to marry my grandmother. I could mys call myself Gottfried Wagner. I'd be Dash Hitler. She also furnished the paper to Mein Kampf. This is now. The children of the victimizers and the victims are not sitting any longer at two tables. They're coming together. And they encounter in just you know, opening up their hearts. We have now a special responsibility out of that. What could be done constructively yes, to, to make this globe a better place? I'm in this point, I can even use my rather ambiguous name, Wagner, to something constructive. <laughs> When it's completed, the Global Community Puzzle is going to be a traveling exhibit. And I hope that people who see it will be reminded of their connection to the entire human family, linked to the wishes of children and future generations, and to the life of the Earth. I pray that my piece of the puzzle 
will fit, will make a good fit, will create opportunities oh, for fire health, of my spirit. for love, I am frightened. awakening. Please help me to take care of myself I pray that my, so I can be my heart will ever open and present in the world. So I can live out world. my unique being richly. I, pray I am that only one in many. This puzzle and yet that you've I created carry within me a peace without which the puzzle of will our collective existence and touch would be people's hearts deeply. And help them to pause for a moment to consider what it is they love. O oh, fire source of my spirit, I am trembling. So be it. Here on earth. 